There are a lot of things that we don't know about the notoriously secretive country of North Korea. Kim Jong-un does his best to present a carefully cultivated image to the world, but we know there is a lot going on that he would rather keep hidden. They can pretend to be wealthy, happy, and command many powerful weapons, but we know the truth, even if they wish we didn't. Did you know that North Koreans only have access to 28 websites, and that's if they can afford a computer? Celebrate your internet freedom by subscribing to The Hub. Human Fertilizer This is one of those facts that is unpleasant to ruminate on, but it makes perfect sense if you think about it. For obvious reasons, other countries aren't rushing to hand chemicals over to North Korea. While this limits their ability to produce harmful weaponry, it also means that they can't use traditional fertilizer on their crops. North Korea struggles with food shortages, so growing crops is absolutely essential, and they're forced to take drastic measures, such as using human feces as fertilizer. Other than the wealthy elite, most people in North Korea don't have enough food to go around, especially those living in rural areas. As if the idea of using your own waste as fertilizer wasn't stomach-churning enough, each family actually has a quota they have to fulfill, or else they risk severe punishment. Because some people have trouble producing, they'll actually steal feces from other people, meaning that outhouses are frequently locked to prevent theft. You know, even when things seem dark in our own home countries, at least we don't have to worry about people stealing our waste. Oh, and they use animal waste as well, meaning that if you see someone picking up after their dog in North Korea, they won't be throwing away that precious bit of poop. Weaponry When you think of North Korea, you may automatically picture their lavish parades, which are frequently broadcast on television. And what would a parade be without a display of military strength? Unfortunately for Kim Jong-un, Eagle Eye's people have noticed some very peculiar issues about his weaponry. While those missiles might look intimidating at first glance, if you take a closer look, you'll see them wobble when they move, something that real missiles obviously don't do. Their nose cones are also a bit misshapen, suggesting that these are nothing more than mock-ups designed to impress. North Korea seeks to intimidate its enemies and generate fear, but they sometimes don't take into account that the rest of the world has access to way more information than its citizens do, and thus we aren't so easily fooled. Even the sunglasses that the soldiers wear during the parades aren't the type that would actually be used in combat. In the US, soldiers wear wraparound sunglasses in order to protect their eyes from projectiles, but the glasses shown by North Korean soldiers wouldn't offer much in the way of protection. They even wear ineffective fingerless gloves to handle their fake weaponry during the parades. Miss. We all know that the rich and famous have publicists on hand to help them be perceived a certain way to the public. This is especially essential to the leaders of North Korea as they heavily rely on their cult of personality. However, many of the things that they choose to convince their citizens of are just plain bizarre and easily disproven by anyone outside of North Korea. For instance, Kim Jong-il claimed to have invented the hamburger. Further showing off his culinary skills, he also declared sawdust to be full of nutrients and encouraged the citizens to eat up during times of famine. Maybe it was because he was stuffed full of sawdust, but he also claimed not to go to the bathroom. Strangely enough, Kim Jong-un is known to need to use the bathroom, and even carries around a special toilet for just such occasions. They also like to think that their leaders are celebrated worldwide, when that couldn't be further from the truth. Trying to convince the world that you invented the hamburger and can eat sawdust is just so bizarre, we aren't really sure what to make of it. I guess we can only hope that his son, Kim Jong-un, goes on to do great things as well, like invent french fries or tell us about the nutritional benefits of eating paper clips. Peace Village Making up fake facts about their leaders is one thing, but North Korea has also created an entire fake town. Located on the border of North and South Korea sits the town of Kijongdong, also known as Peace Village. It's believed that this was created as a decoy in order to lure defectors from South Korea over to the northern side. Okay, so while it may seem incredible to believe anyone would go to North Korea on purpose, the idea of making an inviting little town to entice people isn't their worst idea. However, they didn't do a great job of making it actually convincing. The houses are made of concrete, and they don't even have glass in the window panes. Their lights are set up to go on and off on timers, and nobody appears to actually live there. Even if the houses weren't cartoonishly fake, we bet that the constant propaganda being blasted through the speakers at Peach Village would make people not want to live there. Using telescopic lenses to peer into the windows revealed that the buildings don't even have rooms inside of them. To North Korea, this is a brilliant plan. But in reality, they're not fooling anyone. To outsiders, this little fake town is known as Propaganda Village. Internet. 
We weren't kidding earlier when we mentioned that the internet in North Korea only has 28 websites. For a country that enjoys bragging about their technological accomplishments, it's kind of embarrassing that their internet is so terrible. North Korea claims to be infinitely superior to South Korea, but their neighbor has the fastest internet speed in the world, while North Korea, not so much. They even keep the fact that they have internet at all a secret from many of their own citizens, claiming that the internet is something made up by the West for some nefarious nonsensical reason. For a long time, we knew that North Korea had a limited internet, but it was believed that they had about 5,500 websites. However, due to a technological error on their part, their internet became briefly available for outsiders to see. So what websites do they have? As you probably guessed, these websites are just about propaganda and North Korean culture. Not that most people in North Korea get to see them anyways, as access is only granted to government officials and the wealthy elite. Their daily fertilizer contributions must be an even more unpleasant experience without the distraction of a smartphone. Mass Surveillance North Korea likes to project a strong image of unity and claim that its citizens are superior to those in other countries. Well, they probably wouldn't be thrilled to know that we are aware of their mass surveillance used on their own citizens. For a country that has trouble feeding its own people, they see nothing wrong with dropping nearly $8 million on CCTV cameras in order to monitor its citizens. The rule of Kim Jong-un has seen more strict security measures, and people are severely prosecuted for having any contraband materials, such as newspapers, books, or movies that depict life outside North Korea. They even use outdoor microphones to listen in on people's everyday conversations to make sure nobody is saying anything derogatory about North Korea. We certainly wouldn't want the job of listening to random people's everyday conversations. North Korea's obsession with monitoring their citizens makes it seem like maybe their country isn't the perfect utopia they pretend it is. Especially since if you do get caught making fun of Kim Jong-un's haircut, you'll likely be sent to a prison camp that you probably won't return from. South Korea It's hard to say which country North Korea enjoys disparaging the most, but a lot of their ire seems to be aimed at their neighbor, South Korea. They paint South Korea as this horrifyingly impoverished country, when in truth, South Korea is experiencing a period of economic growth, whereas North Korea is struggling to even feed their own people. We're not saying that South Korea is perfect, no country is, but the lengths that North Korea goes to in order to convince everyone it's the worst place in the world is kind of mind-blowing. When they air videos of protests in South Korea, North Korea actually blurs out the skyscrapers in the background in an attempt to hide the country's prosperity. When North Korea experiences a food shortage, they blame it on bad weather and the failure of citizens to uphold the rules and properly revere past and present supreme leaders. So you can just imagine the ways they blame the imaginary problems in South Korea. North Korea has been known to use balloons to send propaganda leaflets across the border into South Korea, slamming the country's political leaders and blaming them for the troubled relationship between the two countries. Yangakado Hotel if you're planning your trip to North Korea, don't bother looking for an Airbnb or comparing hotel prices, because you'll most likely be staying at the Yankado Hotel on your carefully curated trip. North Korea wants to maintain their image as a prosperous country, and that means they don't want you wandering into one of the many places without electricity. The hotel is comfortable compared to the surrounding area, but it's also heavily guarded, so don't even think about sneaking off. Not that it would be easy to do so anyway, as the hotel is conveniently situated on an island in the middle of the city. You're required to travel with a tour guide at all times, and you're absolutely not allowed on the streets after dark. The hotel features a bar, bowling alley, and even a casino. North Korea would like you to believe that their entire country is clean, comfortable, and has these sorts of amenities. However, North Korea struggles to even keep the lights on, literally. Blackouts are extremely common, and at night, there isn't much power, even in major areas. In fact, a photo taken by a space station showed an absurdly dark North Korea due to their lack of power. Kidnapping When there is enough power to host a mandatory movie viewing, you might wonder what types of film are shown in North Korea. Their films consist of propaganda about how great North Korea is and how terrible the rest of the world is. They're actually so bad that former leader Kim Jong-il lamented his country's lack of good films. He was a notorious movie fan, and had a huge collection of films that would have been illegal for anyone else to own. Kim Jong-il despaired so much about the poor quality films his country produced that he did what any reasonable person would do. He kidnapped South Korean director Shin Sang-uk and his actress wife Choi Yoon-hee and forced them to make movies for him. No, really, that is a thing that happened. 
The pair eventually escaped when they gave their guards the slip when they were traveling to promote one of their films. Despite overwhelming evidence, North Korea insists that the two had come to North Korea willingly because that's totally plausible and not at all ridiculous. The couple even managed to make a secret recording of Kim Jong-il complaining about North Korea's film industry. Women in the Military We know that if there is one thing North Korea loves showing off, it's their military force. In fact, there are rumors that Kim Jong-un has a battalion of women 500,000 members strong who are ready for battle. Military service is compulsory in North Korea, and men serve for 10 years, while women serve from the time they graduate high school until they're 23 years old. Having female soldiers may seem progressive, until you realize this is North Korea we're talking about here. Kim Jong-un might claim that his female soldiers are highly trained, but defectors have told a very different story about what it's like to be a woman in North Korea armed forces. Not only are women not trained for combat in any meaningful way, but they're often subjected to sexism, threats, and even assault. Military service is brutal, and even soldiers in North Korea are often underfed. It can be so bad for female soldiers that their menstruation can be disrupted due to the stresses on their bodies. Many people are more concerned for the health and safety of the women forced to serve in North Korea's military than they are for these women gearing up for battle. North Korea can be so strange at times that it seems almost like another planet instead of just another country. Living there sounds so wonderful, it's a surprise that people aren't beating down the cement doors of Peace Village to get in. Here at The Hub, we're dedicated to bringing you information on the strangest things in the world, and North Korea is a pretty good example of this. Thanks for watching our video, and we'll see you next time.